Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Mexican style of pickled chiles, which is also known as chiles en escabeche. It looks a little bit like this if you guys aren't familiar with it. Let me bring it up close. You guys have probably seen these in the cans, um, but I'm going to show you how to make the jalapeños. So if you're interested in how to make these, please keep watching and I'll see you guys at the end. Hi friends, I'm going to go over the ingredients we need to make our pickled chiles. I'm going to be using eight chiles, half of a white onion, and your garlic is going to be at your discretion. My garlics are very large. So if you want to use four to six, it's going to be your choice. I have one chopped large carrot. And you can slice the carrots however you like. I have four leaves, four bay leaves. And they vary in sizes. But this is about the sizes that I have for them. Excuse me. I have one teaspoon of Mexican oregano. One and a half teaspoons of salt. You're going to need a lot of vinegar. It's going to depend on the jars that you're using or the containers you're using for your vinegar. You're going to need another place, another bowl to place the ingredients once we saute them. So let me go ahead and get started and show you how to make these chiles. And we want to add about three tablespoons of oil. And you want to make sure that you have enough oil to saute all your ingredients. So if you end up running out of a little bit, you should still be okay to do this. Okay, while our pan is getting hot, I want to make sure that you guys uh, puncture the chiles. You want to give them about three punctures. And depending on the side, that's how, how, about how many times you're going to puncture it. Okay, so once you've punctured your chiles and your pan and your oil is hot, let's go ahead and start adding our chiles. And this is going to go by very quick, guys. If your pan is very hot, it shouldn't take you more than a minute to get them seared properly. You can already see the color changing. That's what we want. I usually don't brag, but I want to brag about my views clips because you guys are just so beautiful. Like, you guys are so kind, physically beautiful, internally beautiful. Like, I love you guys. You guys are great. When I first made these for Monday, mm -hmm. one of the oil popped in my eyeball. <gasps> Do you remember I went to work and it had like a, the, like right here? Oh my god. It had like a big old blister. I was like, I'm never making these cheetahs again. <laughs> Girl, is that why you have me doing the cheetahs instead of you no, doing the recipe? No, because my mom didn't give me the tips that you give. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, get to school and get in there, you know? <laughs> you know, guys, my sister's usually the one that does this recipe for us, but she's being shy. Hopefully, she can break that shell one of these days, Cloud. I already did once. You did. Okay. You call the chili peel cascara in Spanish, and you just want to make sure that it's, ooh, ooh, ah. You know what this reminds me of? When I did that uh, Christmas mukbang. bomb. The teppanyaki? The teppanyaki fail, oh my gosh. Did we get to spring to control that oil? Ah, no. You're a professional. Um, it's not the burn will heal. <laughs> <laughs> just be very careful, guys. This does pop, so if you guys are going to be making this and you have the kids around, or our family, people you love, just take it easy, please. I don't want any of you guys getting hurt for making these chiles. I almost feel like I should have put a parental warning for this. <laughs> okay, this, this chile is coming out already. I have it seared exactly how we need to have it. You guys already seen the color change. So it's going to take you anywhere between three to five minutes, depending on the size of your chiles and the heat of your pan. Okay, so once your cheetahs start to look like this all the way around, you're ready to take them out. Got a little bit of go on that one. You guys might not need to turn it as much as I am. I just really enjoy getting in here like a DJ and <laughs> getting into these cheetahs. The chile DJ. The chile DJ. Hey! 
Careful, they might offer you a residency down this road. Hey, the Chila DJ. The Chila DJ, what's up? I'm pretty good with my music choices, so I wouldn't doubt it. One Maybe bit. Chila's on one side and, and mixed music on the other. Yeah, I'll be serving you tacos and music. What's up? Kept me in, girl. Yes. You guys already know, Cloud's my partner in crime. Love my sister. I love you too. I love you too. That's so gross. Really? You're silly. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're doing good with these chiles. This one just needs a little bit more. So the reason we're going to go ahead and do the, the jalapenos first is because if we would have done the carrots, it's going to change the color of your oil and it's going to transfer to your chiles. And you want these chiles to be bright when we're sealing in all that delicious flavor because that's exactly what we're doing. We're searing the flavor in. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add our garlics and the garlics and the onions is going to be pretty quick. Our oil's really hot. So it should take you a minute, two minutes depending on the size again and um, however you chop your onions. You just want a quick sear to seal in all those flavors. You know when I make recipes like this guys, I feel so proud. I'm proud of my mother for instilling some strong um, values in me of my culture. And at this point in my life to be able to share these with you guys, it means so much to me. Because growing up, a lot of people wonder, like, how do they even make that? Because you get so used to purchasing things here in the States that you kind of forget how to make things. So sharing these recipes with you guys really, really fills my heart. It's going to my heart if you do a mukbang of these after. A mukbang of these? You sound loca, mujer. Con unos huevitos, maybe some um, huevos rancheros. Yeah? They're spicy, too. I know. Woo! Well, because you touched them. My sister has this thing with the oils of her hands. Touch a chile. You better beware because that thing will turn into a ghost pepper in two seconds. All right. So I kept them in about a minute or so. Go ahead and take them out. You want to be careful if you have um, other family members in the house or pets because... Um, if these are too spicy, you're going to be able to smell it and they'll start coughing up and you just want to be, be alert, okay? Be alert for your family. Sometimes if you brown the garlic a little bit more, you get more of that garlic flavor in your, um, in your blend. So I'll leave that to your guys' discretion. Let me, let me double check mine real quick. So I can at least show you guys. Look. I know my mom likes those very seared. So I'm, I'm going to sear these up a little bit more. You see that brown little color? That adds more of the garlic flavor to your blend. <laughs> I was ready to run on that one. <laughs> stay alert, stay alert. You guys, I, I will tell you guys this, that after we did that tip on yaki fail mukbang that I had with my idea, um, we ended up buying two fire extinguishers for our home. Two additional ones? Yeah. Well, we have the two that are upstairs. Oh, okay. so. And you have the one that's in the kitchen, right? Yes, ma'am. You guys know I need that in my life. It's funny because when we do the fireworks for the 4th of July, our kids always know to go for the fire extinguisher while we're outside. <laughs> okay, so now it's our carrots. Yeah. Yeah. 
I know we cut them at an angle because my mom has this thing. She has a pet peeve for the circle cut, uh, cut carrots. She cannot handle like the sliced circles. She won't eat it. It doesn't matter how good the dish is. So if you guys notice when I cook, I don't cut them in circles. <laughs> but then again, my mom likes hospital food and they cut your carrots in circles. So, <laughs> But she will eat those. She'll say, está muy bueno, like it tastes good, but, you know. Do you see the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the color of the oil changed to more of like a yellowish, orangey color. And that's the color we didn't want to uh, seep through to our cheetahs when we were uh, doing this. That's the reason we're doing them so separate. Yeah, your carrots are going to be in here a minimum of about two minutes. Because it depends on how thick you cut them or how thin they are. I, I have mine uh, a little thick because I like that crunch when I bite into it. So let's go ahead and get these babies out. And you want to take them out before you start steaming them. Because once you start steaming them and you put them into your blend, they're going to be soggy carrots. And that's not what we want. This is going to be about 20 seconds. You're going to put your bay leaves in. Woo. That's going to get all the bay leaf flavors to come through. Okay, like I said, these are only going to take you about 20 seconds to do and you're going to take them out. And you're not going to get a big old poppy and you're not going to get anything wild from the bay leaves. There's no moisture in there. They've already been dried. All right. On to our next step, guys. Okay, as soon as you take them off of your of your heat, what you're going to do is you're going to add your, or your Mexican oregano. If you guys are using any other type of oregano, you're going to miss the flavor that you need for these. And you're going to add your salt. And give it a good mix, okay? To make sure that all the ingredients in here ingredients my accent comes out every once in a while bear with me um, all your ingredients in here get coated I don't know I think my husband likes to flirt with me and get spicy when my accent comes out so he says <laughs> I think that's a mix uh, mixed couple problems right okay we're all set with this next step Okay, friends, this is where you're going to get excited about it. Have you ever seen those jars that have like the oil and the essence of things? This is where you want to make it pretty, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the carrots and the onions to the bottom. And then I'm going to add my chiles in here. Sometimes I use two jars. That's why I have them. Sometimes it's less. It's going to depend on you guys. Bring your bay leaves. The bay leaves, I usually, since I have them in a jar, I have them stick on the outside. Garlic. And just keep piling it in there. Nice layers. Oh my goodness, make sure to take the time to smell that because it is divine. Okay, we're only doing one jar. This is going to be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> so go ahead and press it down just like this. So the remainder that you have here in this, you want to take all those flavors. You don't want to leave anything behind. So kind of the way that I do it when I use some water, we're going to add a little bit of vinegar here. Get all the flavors around. So that we get all that salt that's on the outsides, everything. So here's the part. I don't want you guys to get nervous about the amount of vinegar that goes in here. You want to pour your vinegar enough to cover all the ingredients that you have in your jar. Oh, 
what you're going to do next is you're going to leave your little lid that you're going to be using for your mason jar just like that once this cools you're going to put it in your refrigerator and in 24 hours you're ready to consume it so even if you make it like late evening and you leave them in overnight in the morning for breakfast you're ready to have this on whatever dish that you need to make okay views club this is how you make your pickled chiles your chiles and escabeche I'm so excited to be able to share this recipe with you guys. If you guys make this recipe, don't forget to show me on Twitter, on Instagram. If you put me on Facebook, let me know. I get really excited about it. So don't forget about me and send me your pictures of your recipes. We're interacting here, guys. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100K for a good celebration with you guys. And I'm actually trying to impress my kids. That's exactly what I'm doing, so I need your help. <laughs> And um, if you haven't clicked that bell for notifications, please take a chance uh, to click that because you get notified whenever I post a new video, a new recipe. And I think that's it. I'm really excited to see how you guys are going to consume this because when I eat these chiles, I eat them for breakfast uh, with my eggs, with my beans and tortillas and burritos, tacos. It's just like a little side pickling snack. I want to thank you guys so much for being part of my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adiós.